Today we're covering my six step process of actually moving to Northwest Arkansas. So let's talk about that. Hey everybody, if you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. If you weren't aware, I actually was a real estate broker located in the dumpster fire, the horrible, the no good state of Illinois, the worst, Anyways, I could have moved anywhere I wanted to in America. I could have moved to Chattano uh, Chattanooga, I could have moved to Huntsville, I could have moved to Tennessee. I looked into all those places. I looked into Utah, I looked into Colorado, Boulder and Golden, I looked into Flagstaff, I looked into Boise. Everywhere that's popular amongst America, I looked at all those places. But I chose Northwest Arkansas. And by far, it is the best place to live in America, by far. If you ever want to talk about why I chose here versus anywhere else in America, let's talk on the phone, let's do a Zoom, let's meet up for coffee, and I can share all those different reasons. Without further ado, let's jump right into the content. All right, so this is my six step process of helping people get from where they're at to where they wanna go here in Northwest Arkansas. So just to clarify, I've, I've helped hundreds, if not thousands of people move from all across America, actually all across the world now, Guam, Africa, Japan, Europe, China, um, anyways, a lot of places, thousands of people help thousands of people move across America to Northwest Arkansas. So I've kind of boiled this down to the essentials of what you actually need when you're starting this whole process to happen. So let's start with the first step right now. And the first step might be a little obvious, but you might need to come visit. Just throwing it out there. But honestly, I'm sure you've already done this or maybe you're thinking about doing this. Come visit Northwest Arkansas. Amazing place. Beautiful place. The only thing I recommend is don't come like dead of like February. It's a little, you know, there's not leaves on the trees, the grass isn't green. Uh, there's still people out about doing stuff, riding bikes, doing stuff, but it's not like this pretty factor. But really between the time frame of like April all the way till maybe early December, great time to visit. So lovely. Uh, like not because the weather isn't good in the in that winter time, but this is not as pretty because we're, you know, we have four seasons here. So just kind of keep that in mind. But regardless, one thing I want to mention as well is make sure to download my three day itineraries link below. They are extremely helpful for people that are looking to come here to check this place out. It goes through literally day by day, city by city, restaurant by restaurant, all the different things. So first thing, definitely check North Arkansas out. Come visit. And the second thing you definitely need to do when you're coming to North Arkansas or think about moving here is the fact that we should probably meet for coffee or at least talk on the phone, but definitely meet for coffee. I meet with, I've met with thousands of people, thousands of people that have looking to come here, looking to check this place out. I mean, for, well, I have way too much, I've drinking way too much coffee, honestly. I, I probably need to move to tea. You can tell as fast as I talk, I don't need more coffee. But anyways, uh, we meet for coffee, meet for tea. Um, then uh, we can go check out the area, check out some homes. The reason being is not because we need, we need to find you something right away per se, but it's more or less like, hey, let's check out some home pricing to see what your expectations are for when you're moving here. If your budget is 200, let's go check those out. If your budget is 400, let's go check those out. So we just need to be aware of what you're looking for. And if you are looking for rentals, 100%, I get that, let's do that as well. So again, come in here, check out the area, first thing. Second thing, meeting with me, meeting for coffee or tea. And then we're gonna be checking out some homes just to get a price comparison of what your, your expectations are met when you're actually moving here. All right, so I kind of lied to you. There's actually like a 2.5, so kind of seven steps. There's a step between two and three. The one between those, those are actually like, that's actually buying a property. So how this song and dance will go oftentimes happens all the time people come here fall in love understandably so easy to fall in love with north arkansas come here check out me for coffee or tea and then we uh joke check out check out homes sometimes you get under contract but what happens you go back you go back to the place you came from and you're like why why am i still here i know i'm moving why would i waste my life more and more here because i know that the longer i wait at this place i know i'm moving my friendships are going to be ending this is going to happen and you start preparing to move why am i wasting all this time because you already know what's going to happen move faster so that is kind of the weird tension life you're going to live in for maybe a month or two and then what's going to happen is that a home's going to come on the market and you'll be like that's the home for me i'm going to go video video it maybe give it obviously give it a tour and you're going to fall in love and we're going to get the house for you so that's just kind of 2.5 so we are now in contract we found the perfect house amazing times yay everybody and then now let's move over to the third option for third thing and the third thing is actually going to be talking about the furniture you have in your current location i have a big recommendation for this one i've had i've helped like i said a lot of people the one thing i recommend is sell all your stuff unless there's like a special table or armoire or something of that nature sure bring that along but the less you bring here the better. The reason that I mentioned this is because I made the mistake when I came here. I brought, I, I, I got rid of a lot of stuff, but I certainly did not 
actually get rid of enough stuff. And I've moved since I got here for the first time and I got rid of more stuff. I'm like, why am I holding this, all this stuff, again, across America, this is stupid. So whether it's furniture or anything, a lot of times the furniture you have currently are not gonna fit the color pattern, not gonna fit the size, not gonna fit the corners, not gonna do this. So honestly, Facebook market your stuff, do yourself a favor, save cost on moving across America and just sell most of your stuff. Bring your, your core stuff, we all know what those things are, clothes, things. But regardless, sell most of your furniture. It's not worth bringing here. Do not, do not bring your washer and dryer. Do not bring your fridge because they will get dinged. They will get damaged. They will not work when they get here. It happened multiple times. Always a pain in the butt. So just keep that in mind. Do not, as much as possible, bring as little as possible. Whoa, 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 whoa. I made something for you. I made something called three day itineraries. So maybe you're looking to check out the area, maybe looking to see how awesome it is. I made three day itineraries, city by city, day by day, restaurant, restaurant by restaurant. Maybe you're a venturer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're, you're a sightseer, whatever it is. I have three day itineraries linked down below for you. So go ahead and download them, use them when you get down here. Also, you might be using things like realtor.com, zillow.com or Redfin, way too slow, notifications, way too slow. That's why I made something called instant home updates. Sounds like what it is, literally instant home updates. So enter your information below, name, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Where do you want to move to North Arkansas? Enter all the information below and make sure you don't miss a single notification when it comes for home for sale or for rent all in North Arkansas. Also, every single Friday, I send an email just kind of talking about all the cool things happening in North Arkansas. What's going on downtown Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? When is Fridays? When is First Thursdays? What's going on downtown Springdale? What's going on in the amphitheater? What new business moving here? There are so many things all the time, all the time happening in North Arkansas. Enter your name below, enter your email below, I'll make sure you get that email every single Friday, but I want you to be aware, I need you to be aware, is that you will get a little, a little fear of missing out, a little, um, we'll say, a FOMO, so to speak, but I promise you will be the most informed person eventually when you make it down to North Arkansas. And the fourth step about moving actually to North Arkansas, this seems to be more of a relationship-based one, is once you start this transition where you are in the process of buying a home, you're starting to sell your stuff off, you need to start getting uh, your relationships buttoned up. So this is where it becomes real, this is where I, I deal with this a lot with clients. Like, oh my God, I'm actually doing the thing. I'm actually, the thing is happening. So uh, talking to your friends, having thrown, having a going away party, having a, you know, talking to family, getting the date set up for when they're coming up for Thanksgiving and Christmas. If you don't have any relationships, then cool. You can just go whenever you want to do. But most of the time we have some friends, we have some family to button relationships up with. Obviously you've been thinking about this before you did it. So there's obviously been some talk of it, I assume, uh, with friends and family, so they're at least somewhat aware of it. But regardless, start getting those relationships, relationships buttoned up because as you start getting closer and closer to, to the date of moving, it's kind of hard to like balance getting rid of all the stuff, getting things packed up, getting the house potentially sold that you might have, and then get out here. So it kind of all wraps up pretty harsh in the end days. So it's better to kind of do this now in my opinion, versus other times. And the fifth thing you definitely need to be doing when moving here to North East Arkansas, this is gonna be starting at the tail end of the journey, is literally journeying to North East Arkansas. So a lot of times if you're coming from the West Coast, give yourself a couple days. There is a no rush, unless you're rushing, but there's no rush, give yourself plenty of time because the traveling from California or Arizona or even Nevada or Utah or wherever it is, Colorado, can be a bit of a, um, uh, a journey. Now, I do admit Colorado is pretty easy. It's like three turns out of here, honestly, it's, but it's 13 hours, I do admit. But um, it's a very easy journey from Colorado. I've driven there several times. But regardless, um, uh, when you're coming out here, give yourself a day or two. It's kind of a bittersweet, I assume, maybe a lot of excitement at the same time, but give yourself, make it more of a journey than just like this push through, get things done. Because there's nothing worse, because what's gonna happen when you get here is even more work. So what I say that is that I've had a lot of clients come through here and then they push through getting their house under, under, you know, closed out in, let's say, Arizona. And they push all that done and then they push all the get out here and then they push when they get here and then they just relax and they're exhausted after like, a four month journey. So I say, stop, smell the roses, smell the flowers, cut the trimmings, pick the things, whatever you wanna do. I say, just don't push yourself so hard to get here because you'll have more, you're gonna to have to unpack. You're gonna to have to readjust. You're gonna to have to get your driver's license done. You're gonna to to figure out the taxing system here. You're gonna to have to do this. And so trust me, there's always things to do. But with this journey, when you're literally driving, enjoy the pit stops. So take that from advice from myself, from many others who have done this before you, Take your time. And the sixth and final step when you actually are moving here to Northwest Arkansas, and this is where the fun begins, haha. <laughs> the fun is start 
joining groups, start doing things, start get 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 a, get a mountain bike. I mean, I, I shipped you a mountain bike with my um uh with my uh, my NDVA starter pack, so use that one. <laughs> You'll understand when you get it. But regardless, uh, get yourself a mountain bike. Uh, you know, join a running club, join a knitting group, do join Blake Street, go to downtown Fayetteville, go to a Razorback game, whatever you want. Start making friends. Friends are very easy to find here, I do admit, because a lot of people are relos here and they're all looking for friend groups. They're all looking to make new friends, you know, kind of sample new things they've never done before. There's a lot of new, um, we'll say like a hobby started here. So pickleball, all the way down to knitting, to whatever, everything in between those two things. So those are obviously the two far ends, obviously. But regardless, when you get here, start making friends, start enjoying the area, start leveraging the area, leveraging, I say leveraging, I mean like enjoying the area for what it is. It's a great outdoor space. A lot of great jobs. You probably have a job here, I assume. A lot of great jobs. A lot of people want to get together. A lot of community events. A lot of first Fridays, first Thursdays. So just enjoy and be part of the community. All right. That's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you haven't been down to North Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds like what it is. Literally, Starter Pack full of all the cool things in North Arkansas. Comes with a 120 page guide, city by city, populations, all the demographics, all the things you want to know about the area, all the cool things happening, all about the school systems, all about the medical, literally 120 page guides. It comes with like three day itineraries. It comes with a bunch of stickers. It comes with all all the cool things around North Arkansas. So you definitely need to download, to actually order this right away. Enter your name below, enter your address below. Where's this package going to? Literally package sh sh ships right to your home. Literally right to your home. Enter your address and name below. I'll make sure you get that package shipped to you right away. Also, side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike. So that's pretty cool. And then, and then I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It is my favorite folder F word. Free. So enter your information below. Make sure they get that package shipped to you right away. Also, when you are in town, I can give you the $10 tour so I can kind of show you the whole area. Plus, we can check out some home for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar would go in North Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, this next one.